Hey everybody, I'm Lou Zan with Major Crush, and I'm fired up today. I got my two partners here, old Cowboy Slim over here, Lars <laughs> Williamson, and uh, and the amazing Josh Martin. And uh, we're really excited about this wine we're going to feature today. It's a it's a classified as a red blend, but when you hear the three wines that are in this bottle, you know, I think you're going to freak out like we did. Mm -hmm. Blow you away. It's so good. So what we've got here is we have a, a blend of Cab, Syrah, and Zinfandel. Can you imagine? Does it get any better than that? I guess the lead on it is Zinfandel, right? Yep. Yeah, it's probably predominantly yeah, Zin. The classic Lou Zin lead. I wonder why you like it so this, much. This is, just, <laughs> this is just a classic me. Wow, so this is just drinking huge. This is a big wine, guys. Yeah. What, um, tell me the story. What, what, you know, you obviously loved it for blank wines and a couple things. Why don't you tell our folks a little bit about blank wines and then tell us why did you guys choose this wine to put it on your label? Yeah, so I'll jump into why we chose it and then I'll pass it off to Lars to tell you a little bit about blank. But the main reason we chose this is we we're just, you know, sitting there tasted. We tasted about 20 wines this time, and this is the one that really just jumped out of the glass. It has just had amazing fruit, nice body, and one thing to note is it is a 2019, so it's definitely a, a bigger wine, but it's just so delicious, and surprisingly, it's, you know, pretty far along for how young it is. It really is, yeah. yeah. It, very integrated. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not tasting any any server, you've got a great palate, Lars. What do you think? Yeah, I think that the, really the big reason why we chose this is um, Josh was kind of mentioning it. Where we were just so surprised at how well it's drinking. Granted, how young it is, um, the fruit, the concentration of fruit on this is incredible. Um, everybody loves, you know, nice ripe um, fruits, and we just felt like this had, um, you know, you just would have no, no, no problem picking a couple of your favorite fruits out of this glass, both, you know, on the nose and on the palate. Um, and then just in terms of blank wines, I mean, I think that our goal is always to bring exceptional wines to the table um, in the most transparent way possible. Another thing I want to touch on is we have our back label, um, if you can Great. see that yeah. on there. Um, and one of the reasons we do this is we really want people to understand, you know, it, one, if they, you know, we're only going to provide good wine, so we want people to enjoy it, but we also want people to understand, you know, why do I like this? And, you know, the way we've, you know, navigated that ourselves is we kind of broke it down into some basic principles about wine, body, tannin, acid, and sweetness. So we have those on the back, and that's the same across, you know, white, red, any type of wine, any varietal, anything like that. So it kind of helps you break it down a little bit more and understand the wine. Uh, obviously, the guys are in that category of Gen Y, X, or Millennials, depending on what you're reading. And, uh, you know, that generation is really very curious. And they want to know why they like a particular varietal. And that, I like the uh, tagline that Blank Wines has, and that's taking people from wine interested to wine informed. So you know when you go to buy a, a Pinot, why you, why you like Pinot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now we know why we like Zinfandel, Syrah, and Cabernet. I mean, yeah, that's a big, big blend. Definitely. And that's a, the fun thing about the back label, too, is it's like, you know, you can have a red blend that it could be a GSM with Grenache, Syrah, and Morved, or you could have something with, you know, something like this, and they're completely different, but, you know, if you're at the store or something, it's just going to say red blend on it. So, you know, kind of understanding that distinction and... That's you know, important. Yeah. 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 And talk about food pairing. Golly. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm thinking, again, anything off the grill with Zinfandel and Syrah. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a perfect grilling wine. Yep. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, yeah, this is a nice New York, New York strip. Yeah. Matter of fact, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Cheers, brother. Cheers. I don't have any left. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, a little bit.